Dear students, let me present to you the proof of an interesting result. And what is this result? A PDF um, that is symmetric about the origin. For example, the standard normal distribution or, for example, the Cauchy distribution and so on. But here there is a catch. Because a PDF that is symmetric about the origin and for which the MGF exists. So normal distribution ka to MGF exists. However, uh, the MGF of the Cauchy distribution does not exist. So this theorem is for only those PDFs for which um, the MGF exists. And when you draw the curve of that distribution, it is symmetric about zero. So result kya present karna chahti hu? Result ye hai ke for such a distribution, m of minus t is the same as m of t. Uh, iske subscript mein agar hum chahe to x bhi insert kar dein. mx minus t is equal to mx t. Lekin sometimes we don't need to write that subscript if it is obvious from, from whatever we have in front of us. All right, so let us now do it in, a, in the form of a theorem and its proof. So the theorem goes like this. Let x be a random variable with a PDF f of x and mgf mt. And let f, f of x in other words, be symmetric about zero. In other words, f of minus x is equal to f of x. Because you already know that symmetric about zero means that the PDF itself has this property that f of minus x is equal to f of x. The ordinate against minus x uh, is the same as the ordinate against x. And that's why it is symmetric. So, if all this is happening, then m of minus t is equal to m t. All right, let's start uh, the proof. So, we start from the left-hand side. And we start by the basic definition of the MGF. m t kya hota hai? Expected value of e raised to tx. So, m of minus t kya hoga? Expected value of e raised to minus t into x. Zahir hai ki t ki jaga agar aapne minus t put kiya, to phir us aage bhi wahan pe bhi aap put karenge. Alright, so the expected value of something, if that thing itself is a, you know, pertaining to a continuous variable, then what is the expected value? It is the integral from minus infinity to plus infinity of that entity into f of x. So here, what do we have? m of minus t is equal to the integral from minus infinity to infinity e raised to minus tx into f of x. Or dx to likhna hi hota hai, uske bagair integral completely nahi hota. All right, in the next step, students, ye jo minus t into x likha hua hai power mein, so, minus ko bar nikal ke x ke saath attach kar de. So, what do we have now? It is equal to the integral from minus infinity to infinity of e raised to t multiplied by minus x into f of x dx. Ab aap wo property istamal kare, jiska zikar abhi thodi der pehle mein kiya, ki if your pdf f of x is symmetric about zero, then f of x itself is equal to f of minus x. So we will put that here. So now what do we have? We have the integral from minus infinity to infinity, e raised to t into minus x into f of x ki bajai f of minus x. Or dx to aage aega. All right, now let us apply a simple transformation. Let u be equal to minus x. 
which means that du by dx is equal to minus 1, yani derivative jo hai. Or we can also say that du is equal to minus dx. Uske baad, of course, we have to look at the limits of the integral. Abhi jo hum pehle baat kar rahe the, usme bhi the x was going from minus infinity to plus infinity. Integral ki jo limits hai. So now, let's see what happens to u. If u is equal to minus x, then obviously, as x tends to minus infinity, u will tend to minus of minus infinity. In other words, u will tend to infinity. Similarly, when x tends to plus infinity, u will tend to minus infinity. Because it's such a simple transformation, I think you should have no difficulty whatsoever in understanding the, this change of limits. All right, so now let's see what our left-hand side is equal to. Shuru humne left-hand side se kiya tha na? To wahi se ab aage chalte hain. M of minus t is equal to, jo thodi der pehle likha tha, wo kya tha? Minus infinity to infinity e raised to t into minus x into f of minus x dx. Ab isme ye jo abhi abhi humne transformation uh, develop ki hai, ispe apply kar dete hai. So this is equal to, or se suniyega, integral infinity to minus infinity. Kyunke pehle tha minus infinity to infinity, ab wo transformation apply hui hai aur aapne dekha ke jab minus infinity x hai to u to plus infinity hai. So, integral from infinity to minus infinity e raised to t u kyunke jahan minus x likha hua hai uski jaga pe u a gaya. f of u because f of minus x tha aur uske baad dx hum pehle show kar chuke hain ke du is equal to minus dx to wo dx itself is equal to minus du to ab aap wahan minus du put kar dein to f of u ke saath du a gaya aur wo jo minus hai wo bahar a gaya so minus of the integral from infinity to minus infinity e raised to t u f of u du and students of course from basic calculus you must be knowing this basic rule that if you want to invert the limits of a definite integral you have to apply the minus sign to it abhi to pehle hi minus sign laga hua hai ab jo hum isko ultayenge to minus into minus will make it plus so what do we have now wo jo niche tha infinity wo ab upar chala gaya upar jo tha minus infinity wo niche aa gaya ab sahi jagah pe aa gaya aur wo jo minus sign saath hai wo ab khatam ho gaya because of the basic rule of calculus so minus infinity to infinity e raised to t u f of u t u to ab let us uh, apply the concept of the dummy variable aapko pata hai ki agar aapka definite integral ho to uske andar jo kuch likha hota hai usko aap u keh de v keh de x keh de w keh de it's all the same kyunki integrate kar chukne ke baad aap upper limit minus the lower limit wahan pe lagayenge to wo variable to gayab ho jata hai so using this very very important concept of the dummy variable my dear students now you can write this expression as follows it is the integral from minus infinity to infinity e raised to tx f of x dx u jo tha uski jagah x likh diya main phir repeat kar rahi hu ki aap wahan kuch bhi likh sakte hain and if you write it like this then what is it equal to it is the expected value of e raised to tx in other words it is your mgf mt so this is how we have proved 
that for that particular PDF, which is symmetric about the origin and for which the MGF exists, that MGF has this very interesting property that M of minus T is equal to MT.